Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at a car controller which is completely free from the Unity Asset Store. And this includes a basic car controller with wheel colliders, moving wheels so you control it with WASD. You can use space to handbrake, and you can actually control the drift amount so you can make a drifting style car. It comes with included particle effects. I'll show you actually how to set all this up, how to make your own custom car with this and look at all the scripts and everything that comes in the package. And do be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And down below, there's all the free assets for this month, Unity savings and so much more. So first of all, this asset you can navigate to the Unity store and it's the Prometeo car controller and I'll put the link down in the description. You can add that to your assets and open up in Unity. I will say it does say that it's only supported in built-in but you can use it in URP. You just need to upgrade the materials and that's really easy to do. Once you add this, you can import and download. And as I said, if you need to upgrade your materials for URP, you can go to Window, Rendering and then go to Render Pipeline Converter. Make sure you tick Upgrade Materials and click Initialize. And I do have a full tutorial about that if you need to know. It does come with links to full documentation with all the setup and even a video tutorial if you need to set up your own car. And it comes with particle effects for the wheels. It comes with its own fonts, full prefabs for different templates for the car controller and demo scenes and sounds. So if you go to the scenes folder, navigate to the demo, you can see the controller and how it's set up. It does have a bunch of included assets and it's got sounds which are off by default because they are actually quite loud and I would recommend just turning them down slightly. From there, you can see that the car is built up in several pieces. We've got the Prometheus, which is the main car model. It's got a rigid body and the developer does suggest to keep the mass between 700 and 1200. It starts at about 950. It's got a script called the Prometeo Car Controller, which lets you control speeds, all the colliders, if it uses effects, whether you can update the UI, and any sounds and it does have integration for touch controls. You can see that then the body of the car is then a different mesh and it's got its own collider as you can see here it's using a mesh collider for this object. The developer tells you to have different empty game objects for each different part. So the wheels we've got an empty game object we've got the meshes for the wheels which is just a mesh for the wheels like this so you can put those if you were using them on your own vehicle. It's got nothing on them but it's also got a duplicate of those meshes, which are just called colliders. They also have a wheel collider component on them. And you can copy the settings and you can adjust things for the traction, the motion and the friction. And you need to make sure that they're about the size of your wheels. And then you can get rid of any meshes because all they are is acting as collisions. And then you've got smoke, which is either left or right smoke for when you do an angled sort of drifting. And then you have two uh, trail renderers which leave trail marks when you skid around a corner as if you were to leave the burning of sort of rubber tires. As you can see from the scene, we can use W to go forward. We can use S to slow down and reverse. You can use A to turn left, D to turn right. And then when we're moving, you could press space to handbrake. You could see the trail renderer producing those specific lines and the particle effects. But when we've moved and we do have a speedo which updates as we increase our acceleration and you've got a little basic demo scene which you can just mess around and mess around with this controller and it's a really nice one to just get yourself started with a car and this could be translated to absolutely any vehicle at all if you select back on the car itself you can adjust the maximum speed that the car could draw the maximum reverse speed the acceleration was on five to begin with but i thought it was a bit slow so i knocked it up to nine you can set the max steering angle the steering speed so you can make it more light the deceleration factor, so how quickly the car will actually reduce its speed, the drift modifier, and then on the main camera, there is a camera follow script which you can add and you can follow the car, set the follow speed and the look speed from there. And you do have the ability to change the center of the mass of the vehicle. And in the main car script, you have to input the left and the right wheels for back and forward, so then they can be rotated. But you can also input the actual wheel collider so they're updated as well. You can add the rear, the left and the right particle effects. You don't have to use them if you don't want. And you can choose whether you want to update the slider. And all that's using is a text mesh component to make that happen. And then if you want to use engine sounds and tire screeching sounds when you do it. And then if you want to, you can use touch controls for say a mobile. So it has a throttle, brake and reverse, left, right and handbrake. So you can do this on a complete mobile device too. There's only a few scripts. There's the touch input controller. There's the camera follow script. And there's an entire car controller script. 
But do remember, this is a quite a long script, but it, the developer has put comments in every single line to explain exactly what's going on in all of these features if you need to expand or change some of the functionality that this does. I think it's a really nice solution, especially because it's absolutely free and you can check this out. I'll leave the link down in the description. And if you have any other awesome scripts or assets that you like using, I'd love to check them out too. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And also check out my input system tutorial that could be useful for this to convert to the new input system. And also do check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings and everything you can find in game dev for this month. And a big thank you to all my patrons, massive thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.